Hi guys, welcome to another tarot video with me. Um, today I'm going to be showing you Tarot Roots of Asia. Um, this is the German version. Um, I did find the English edition, English version edition, on, on eBay and it was £189 plus delivery. It's too much for me to pay for a deck, even though I've heard nothing but wonderful things about the artwork from this deck. Um, I'm trying to save to move out. Um, uh, I couldn't justify that kind of money on a, a deck of cards. Um, I hope that didn't offend anyone, I didn't mean it like that, but you get what I'm saying. Um, I got this from Germany, took two weeks to arrive, arrived perfectly, completely sealed, uh, £13, and that was with delivery. There was no custom surprises, nothing like that. So, here's the book, which is no good to me because it is all in German. Uh, I speak basic German, what I picked up in school, uh, in Ich heiße, Cassandra, Ich fauna, in Bambury. It's going to confuse you if you see my name on my channel as Imogen. Um, but, um, yeah, so, meh, I, I have no idea. But, that is what Google Translate is for, and I do have a German dictionary lying around the place, so. Um, they're all still in the order of when I opened them, um. I didn't really want to touch them too much. I just had a flick through and was taken away. Taken away? I was blown away um, <laughs> by um, how beautiful the artwork is. Um, so I picked up a couple of notebooks today to do some journaling with this deck and my medieval Scarpini deck. Um, I'll, show you, I'll show you the backs. The backs are gorgeous. Look at that. Uh, I believe these are based on Buddhist teachings. Um, I'm sorry, I I didn't really um, I didn't really re research too much into the deck. Um, I don't know why. I, I I tend not to research too many decks. Um, I like to buy them. I buy them for the artwork, and then I go. Uh, I might I might um, research it a bit more, but for me, it's just how I feel with the cards. So um, yeah. Just flick my hair out of the way a minute, guys. Deal with that right there. Um, so the cards are beautiful. There's no denying it. Um, they do have really large borders for how beautiful the artwork is. I think um, I, th I really wish it could have been a bit smaller, the borders. But at the same time, I don't know, when you're looking at the image, which I'll show you in a second, patience. Um, I don't really think it matters. So this, like I said, this is in the order that I opened them. So the full um, is not at the front. Um, we have the magician. Yeah. This one is gorgeous. High priestess. I mean, as much as I, you know, I know the system and one onwards. You know, to 22, yada yada yada. I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what they are, just in case I make a fool of myself. And I have actually switched them up without realising, and all of a sudden I'm like, yes, yes, it's the Empress. And everyone out there is reading it, it's like, no, you've got that wrong. So, number three. <laughs> I'm going to show you most, uh, I'm probably going to show you all of the mages. Um, so if you want to get this deck and you want to keep it a surprise, try to look away. I will show you a couple um, from each of the miners, but... I will show you all of the majors, so prepare for that. This is the Hierophant. Um, it's, it's, the colours, are it's calming. It's a really, really calming deck. And um, on opening it, I don't know... I don't want to say this because I've said this with a lot of my decks that, uh, you know, I don't know if I'd read with anyone with it and I've gone straight out ahead and tested that theory. But I don't know, there's something about this deck that makes it feel, for me anyway, really personal already and, you know, we've not we've not bonded as such yet, you know. Um, I've got the deck out and I've flicked through the cards and I've showed my husband and I've squealed and I'm like, oh look at this one, it's beautiful. But we're not really bonded. Here's the chariot. Um, but I fully, I fully intend to, to be honest, because um, I think the deck deserves de deserves respect and to be studied off 
off of the back of that, I'm probably gonna have, <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to um, try and decode the little book and maybe do a bit more research into it. Even though I'm not always keen on that, just because of how different it could be from what I already know. But <laughs> that's rad. This this is an awesome picture. Copy justice. Hanged man. This one I love. I think this is just stunning. The tree growing inside or on top. It's good. This one I also love. I mean they're all beautiful. You can't get away from the fact that the deck is stunning. But this one's especially gorgeous. I'd like to get this in a print and have it on the wall. I think that's amazing. The tower is coming up. Um, the tower, as I've mentioned before, is my card. And this one doesn't disappoint. I, I love this. The tower inside his heart. Or inside his chest. Another one, this is the star, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Another one that I would love printed. The moon. Very peaceful. It's the one from the front of the box. It's just as beautiful. And then last but not least, the world. Well, not last but not least, we've got the full, but... Here he is. The fool. So, they are the mages, and they are breathtaking. Um, if you can get hold of this deck. I mean, I've personally, from an art point of view, because obviously I've not read with it, <laughs> so I couldn't tell you, but it's worth it just to look at the artwork I think. So here we have um, the Ace of Swords. That's beautiful. Try not to get them out of order because I'm not ready to get them out of order yet. Two. And um, they're very, very animal based. The um, the major, uh, the minors, sorry. That's my train of thought. That's, that's what this deck will do to you. And I must admit, it's um, probably one of my first um, animal decks. Um, I've never really gone in for animals um, in, in tarot, but you know, it's just beautiful. So it doesn't, it doesn't, I don't know. Um, it's not that I'm not saying about. Bleh. Start again. I don't know why, but I'm I'm coming round to the idea. I mean, visually, this deck is stunning, and the animals um, that are in it complement it. That it it makes so much sense. Um, and on the back of on the back of that, I mean, you're not ready. And on the back of that, I've been reading um, Shadowscape Tarot, um, and that book has a lot of animals in it, and oh, the woman knows how to write. It's like a little story for each card. Um, it's just beautiful. So, so there we go. I'm not going to show you any more, so you can surprise yourself if you go out and buy it. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I, I do know that the... Um, the English edition is out of print. You can still get it on eBay. Um, I do think it could be quite, um, these can be quite expensive. Um, but I suppose if you're used to spending a lot of money um, on your decks, um, then 189 pounds. Uh, it was still there the other day. It might not be now, but it's not a lot. Um, you know, some people I know um, have spent. 
upwards of 400 uh, on a deck. Um, I think the most I've ever spent is £40 on a deck. I don't really want to go much, much more over that, purely because even though I'm a collector, um, I do seem to collect lots. Um, obviously the old saying is going, you know, how's this old saying going? Is it substance over quantity or quality over quantity? <laughs> um, quality over quantity. Um, and I'm kind of in the middle, you know, I like a lot, but I like quality. Um, and I, I've been I've been rewarded so far. I think every deck that I've gotten, um, however little I've paid, bar the nasty catcher tarot that I bought from the works, um, has 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 worked out really well for me. Um, but you know, if you just have to have the Greenwood tarot, and it's a thousand pounds, buy it. I've looked at the artwork, and it's not for me. Um, doesn't mean if I didn't see it in a shop somewhere and they didn't know what they had and they were selling it for 20 quid, doesn't mean I wouldn't buy it. Of course I'd buy it. Um, so anyway, um, I can't quite remember the, the person that I got this from um, on eBay. I don't know if they have any more. Um, I will have a look and I'll try, I'll put the link in the comments as well and see, and then you can keep an eye out to see if you want to order one. Um, like I said, I ordered two from the same, from the same company. And they varied in price slightly. I don't know why that was. Um, it wasn't huge. Um, I think they might have undercharged me on the original and then realised their mistake and rectified the issue. But I'll put that link down there in case they still sell anyone and you can get hold of them. Um, and that is it from me. You might see another video, you might not. Um, but thank you for watching again, guys. Um, I really love just showing cards. Um, and, you know, if you watch them, great. If not, oh well, you know, I'm not hurting anyone. So have a good day and um, I will speak to you all soon. Take care.